We recently ran a question of the week asking how enterprises can avoid vendor lock-in and still get maximum benefit from the cloud. In other words, can you avoid a strictly monogamous cloud vendor relationship? First, our associated poll shows that 79% think signing on with a cloud vendor means lock-in at some level. On the other hand, the ability to run clouds from multiple vendors means leverage that you don't have to succumb to the control of a single vendor. Vendor lock-in is nothing new. The idea of open source, where you can avoid lock-in, has only gained traction during the past 10 years or so. Indeed, mainframe and mini computers meant marriage to the vendor that supplied those systems. But with a technology so new as the cloud, Enterprises are understandably reluctant to commit to a single vendor when so little is known about how the cloud landscape will shake out. On the other hand, wouldn't an enterprise want to standardize on a single email system, which would equate to a relationship with a single vendor? Indeed, different apps mean different clouds from a variety of vendors. The many responses to this question at the Enterprise CIO Forum has been illuminating. Here's a sampling. One CIO said vendor lock-in is inevitable, no matter what technology you are adopting. Another says adopting the OpenStack set of cloud standards will minimize vendor lock-in. And yet another says, treat a cloud vendor as you would any other, and choose carefully. So what are your thoughts on the cloud vendor lock-in? Has it inhibited your movement to the cloud? Do you obtain cloud services from the same set of vendors you have always done business with? How important is vendor lock-in in your world? Join in the conversation at the Enterprise CIO Forum. I'm John Dodge, Community Manager. We'll see you again, and thanks for watching.